Hello my beautiful people, Jabalani Ori here, artist extraordinaire, back again with another video. This time we're going to do another art log. So this painting is coming along very well. I I am really enjoying myself um, considering the fact that my last painting took about three to four months, probably even longer. Um, but I wanted to talk about when, when I realized I wanted to be a full-time artist when did i realize i wanted to make this like a lifelong goal to create the best work i possibly can honestly it started when i was a kid so as far back as i can remember i remember my mom she used to like draw on napkins and she used to always draw flowers on napkins in these nice uh, intricate little patterns and i always wondered to myself you know my mom is an artist you know but i how come she doesn't she doesn't do art like how come she doesn't you know do art for a living so as a kid seeing my mom be so creative right so easily on a piece of napkin right and seeing how she she carried herself and how she she made her outfits and how she would dress and the amount of effort she would put into those outfits and into how she looked cuz i i used to always think like okay it, that's just like a woman's thing you know to look beautiful okay i get it you know what I mean? Whatever. I never really thought like, okay, like to make an outfit, right? To make an outfit and to make it actually look nice and look really good in all your pictures. You know, I it, it takes a lot of work. And I didn't realize that until like way later. But anyway, so I think I decided when I was a kid. And one of the, th the things that, that sparked that interest in art uh, or my interest in art was actually video games and, and cartoons and and, and 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 you know like the nerdy stuff uh nowadays it's not nerdy nowadays it's considered the norm but when i was growing up you know video games were looked at as like nah man like <laughs> like you're playing video games you're never gonna get a girl man and here i sit married to my beautiful wife for about, about 15 but well, i've been with her for 15 years or 14 years something like that um i'm happy she's happy um and it's good you know but back when i was young i i was actually afraid to tell people like man i look up to this stuff and it really inspires me you know so anyway so fast forward a bit i decided i'm gonna start drawing these characters man so i say anyone who has children if you see them constantly drawing like if you see them constantly wanting to draw mario or some star wars figure or something don't discourage them don't discourage them because that's where i started you know a lot of people they're like oh no you just started drawing apples no, we didn't just start drawing apples. I, I didn't just start drawing apples and fruit bowls and all that stuff until I was directed to. I, I, I didn't start doing that until I tried to get into a visual and performing art high school, which is known as Suitland High School uh, in Maryland. And they taught me how to draw from life. And I feel like that that those lessons um, are, are vital to understanding how like light works. How does it affect something how does light bounce off of things and, and and get to other objects within your painting a lot of people they don't really think about that me i always like to think about light how is light interacting with what i am painting constantly i'm, I'm thinking about that so i started drawing these characters but i i noticed there was better art out there you know there was always like this thing like man the person the person who drew who drew Mega Man? <laughs> that person is amazing. The the X Men, you know, that, they, they're amazing. Like I want to be like that. And you know, I I decided, you know, actually, I want to I want to be like a, a artist, like an artist, you know, like an artist that would like you know be shown in galleries and whatnot. Now, during my high school years, man, I remember thinking to myself, I have to make it into one of these colleges, man. I have to make it into one of these colleges. And I got accepted into a lot of them, um, but I ended up at the Maryland Institute College of Art. And there I started to see a little bit of a difference in, in, in just art in general. I didn't realize that there was something uh, known as graphic design. You know, I didn't, I didn't really think about it. I, you know, at, at the time I was just like, yeah, you know, art with words. So I decided to go into graphic design because honestly, I needed to have some form of of, of a career instead of just being just an artist. I, I felt like I needed to be a part of some company so I can make salary, you know? Um, and I know that, that may sound, sound bad, but art school is bloody expensive. It's, it, my school was very expensive. 
I believe at the time, well, I mean, I had a scholarship, so I don't know exactly how much it was, but I know, I knew one thing. I wasn't going to waste the opportunity, come out and not be able to support myself as an artist. So I figured graphic design is the best way to do that. Graphic design, I could go work for a firm and I can get money and I can still do my paintings and stuff or whatever illustrations on the side. Right. So that's, that was my that was my goal. But what ended up what ended up happening was I did end up getting a degree in design, but I always took illustration classes. Right. Courses. Now, this is after the freshman year. Right. Um, and I, I got hired at my first job as a graphic designer. And then I decided, you know what? I'm going to see if I can do a cover for these people, man. And I ended up doing a cover illustration and they freaking loved it. And I feel like that really changed the course. I mean, before I even started doing uh, like like digital painting for them, I remember being super fascinated with the fact that um, they were coming out with these laptops, these laptops where you can um, turn the display flat, lay it flat, and you can use the stylus and draw on that surface and that like blew my mind so i actually bought one from gateway um and i i i was blown away i was blown away so i started doing like my own little personal um my own little personal paintings meanwhile i'm doing design work at at work um but eventually i started doing less design work and more illustration painting work Right. And eventually that's all it became for many years. Um, and I remember thinking to myself, man, you know, the, the job, I actually really love the job. You know, shout out to my old boss. You know, she's, she was awesome. Um, but at one point I remember thinking to myself, you know, like what's next, you know, cause I was there for like 12 years and I remember thinking, you know, at one point actually I tried to, um, send in a few of my pieces to, uh, Wiz Wizards of the Coast, right? Because I thought, you know, my my style and given the fact that I love RPGs, role playing games, you know, role playing video games, um, I could probably get a spot in, you know, but I was turned down by Wizards of the Coast. And I'm actually glad that happened um, because it, it made me realize, you know, I need to have my own work. Right. And I need to make this work, even if I don't sell this work. And one day what I'll do is I could release it to the public and then everyone can see it. And I'll let the people decide what's dope and what's not. So I made up my mind while I was at my job that no matter what happens, I'm going to try to continue art. And even if I release, you know, my, my work and no one likes it and no one supports it or buys it. I'm still going to try to see if I can, you know, try to maybe do commissions or, or, or whatever. But I have kind of a, I, I wouldn't say a, um, a, a dislike for commission work, but I, I always wasn't too fond of it simply because I remember doing stuff at my job and thinking, man, if I could do this my own way, it would be so much better. But I had to do what they wanted because they I was employed by them so I had to do that you know and it's the same thing um for if you get a commission if you get a commission and it doesn't even matter what it what it's for or how much it costs the customer has the right to direct that that piece because they're paying for that labor you're a work for hire um and uh, so I decided, man, you know what? I, I strongly feel like I got to take the horns on this one. And I feel like the final nail in the coffin, and I know people probably heard me mention this before, was when I got laid off from that job and I realized, man, I don't have anything that's mine. All of that work that I did for 12 years belongs to somebody else right now. So I have to make even better work. And that's why I started Art by Jabu, you know? Um, so now I simply paint what inspires me. Like if, if I want, whatever I want is what I'm going to paint. And, and I feel like if you're an artist listening to this, you need to do the same thing. You need to do the same thing, especially because the way things are going today, you know, we already know the big donkey in the room, AI artists here, you know what I mean? And honestly, I feel like the masses, the masses might eat it up or whatever, but the true art lovers, the true art lovers, they're going to always want 
to know who the artist is, what the artist was thinking when they made it, seeing the artist actually paint it. They want to see that stuff, you know what I mean? And this is why I said, you know what? Art logs are important. Art logs are really important. Um, it's it, it captures the journey of the whole thing. So I'm just going to simply keep recording myself making work and coming on here and talking to you beautiful people. But anyway, that's it for this art log. Please, I beg you, if you have a question or you want me to talk about anything in an art log, just put it in the comment section below and I'll make a future video out of it. For those of you who don't know, I actually sell my work at on, <laughs> on my website jahbu.com you can head over there i have a latest featured painting up there i have only 25 of them available floating framed canvases uh featuring orishas if you're not in the market to buy a painting but you still want to support the work that i'm doing here um head over to patreon i have one five dollar tier uh right now um you get early access to the youtube videos and I, I, I need to go on there and actually give a Patreon update, but I've been so swamped because um, it's just me and my sister and her, uh, her assistant. Um, and it's a lot of work, but I am very grateful and thankful that you guys really dig what I'm doing here. Um, but until next time, my beautiful people, one love, peace.